So, so, um, utter openness. There's a point where I was kind of thinking that, like, all that I've done so far, like, in this little branch off utter openness series, like, might be relevant in face of, like, what I've kind of now landed on for this. Um, and this taps into kind of, like, my spiritual past, like, as far as just, like, the weirdness in, like, 11th grade or whatnot, um, that I've probably not talked about a lot in, or super often, but, like, it's, it's in the Zoroaster and You series, Z-O-R-O-A-S-T-E-R and You, that series, um, and wherever else, but, But um, I was, I don't know if I, I don't know if I like brought up spirituality or that aspect of it, but I was talking with a friend, um, same friend I'm about to like go and watch Corella with and probably end up staying tonight. Um, but like a week or so ago, I was talking about, I was probably talking about how it's hard for me to like talk sometimes like how there's kind of like a wall and that connects to like that spiritual stuff um but but it's like when someone has trouble like saying stuff it could kind of just be like like you could almost equate that to like just nervousness or anxiety or something maybe it's kind of that uh, but it's I don't know it like there's like a wall and it's and actually at this point like I think it is whatever I experience maybe it could be connected to like what someone experiences like if they're nervous about something or anxious about something but I think it could or does tie to like the spiritual stuff that I've had in the past like 11th grade kind of specifically, but 10th, 11th, 12th grade, kind of 11th grade specifically, maybe 10th grade, or even just more so those years, but past, whatever. Um, but, um, but with today, what I realized, so like, if I want to address something or something's on my mind with someone, I want to like attack it. Like, I don't want to beat around the bush type of stuff. Um, but today what I did is like, so instead of like, instead of like just pouncing on what I wanted to talk about with, um, actually said friend's boyfriend actually, um, cause there's some, there's some stuff like a couple or a few things that I could want to talk about that person with, but, um, but so I just kind of like, instead of like just trying to force my own agenda, I kind of like just flowed with that wall. And so like the first thing I, that I said wasn't in relation to what I wanted to address. Um, and even like maybe this, maybe there's a second thing I said that didn't have to do with what I wanted to address. Um, yeah, there might have been one, two, maybe even three. I don't know if there were three things, but just because I think at one point I asked like hot, like, um, are you feeling okay? Um, and then, like, I think I, like, at one point, maybe before or after that, I asked, like, what game he was playing, but because I noticed that, like, even though there's certain things that's just hard for me to, like, push through, there's other times that stuff just comes easily from my lips, like, with, like, just easily. And so, like, I don't know. So I've, I, I've noticed that, perhaps, that, like, there's certain, there's certain things that just kind of flow. And yet here I am like trying to just utterly force stuff that it's such like, so I, but this morning I just kind of flowed with the wall. Like I didn't, I didn't try to force my own agenda. I just kind of just went with it or, and so I said, whatever things. And then I just kind of like, eventually, like I did end up going into what, like one of the things that was that I like wanted to attack or what was or that was on the table and then it kind of like flowed into something else that like 
Like, I ended up covering more bases than, like, there's something else kind of that was kind of that, at least with how technical I am, that, like, we still hadn't done that I had said I wanted to talk to him about, and he had agreed, and, like, this could kind of count as that. Like, and that's something, like, so I covered, like, two bases or something. Like, it just, it just all flowed, and then at the end, I mean, I, it, in a sense, it all flowed. Like, I mean, it's not like I said things perfectly per se like I was probably like hesitant as I was saying stuff or um in a way even though it was, even though it came out like I was still kind of like finding my way and talking or if I mean like I did I did well I think but like it was still maybe some anxiousness as I was talking even though I'm talking about flowing right now I don't know it came, it came out it flowed but not like in some masterful like way like I was still like kind of Care, like careful in a way or anxious or a little bit or just kind of like carefully stepping I guess you could say but um but so then after and then when I left I said um friend his girlfriend had come back and like I said bye to her I said and I said thanks to him and I and like I meant it because like he didn't like attack me as we were talking and stuff or like so, and it was just, like, so in, in, like, flowing with that wall, I ended up saying what I wanted to address. Like, there's, there's still, like, like I kind of said earlier, there's, like, a couple or a few things that, like, maybe I'd want to address with him in my nature of wanting to, I mean, that maybe you could connect to my nature of wanting to be open, which is what the series is about. Um, I don't know. Like there's like there's a, there are a few things I want so it's not like I covered all of them but I think I covered more than kind of was expected like I don't know I feel like that went well like there it's like in reality it's I don't know like maybe it's like one thing that should have been covered and then it just it flowed into just covering like two things. And maybe that can happen normally, like, even if there isn't some weird wall situation or something, but, like, that worked out well, and, like, I feel like, so it's like there's a, and, and also, like, I know, I feel like I noticed that, like, in do, in, like, kind of trying to flow with the wall, it's like, instead of me attacking what I want to talk about, it's like a thing of, like, what's on my mind kind of come can I don't know can come to the forefront and then like I kind of like it's like there's a window of what you could call of like God or something or or something where it's like even like it's not about me per se it doesn't have to just be about me expressing what I feel like I need to address but like just kind of bringing it to the forefront and then if it like and it, and maybe it doesn't end up with me saying it out loud, but like, it's kind of like addressed or t- at least touched upon, or maybe there's comfort or something. There's like a window. And I, I don't know how acquainted I've ever been with this window. Like I'm noticing it today. Usually there's a wall. It's, I tried, I want to say things like this series is about me being open. Like, and like, it's, there's, a, there is this wall, <laughs> like, but today, this morning, I found, like, this window where God is or where, like, something is that I, I mean, I think I could say is God, but I want, but I always want to say stuff is God. That's how I was, that's how I'm raised. That's what my mind goes to. But it, it is because there's like a comfort, there's like, like almost an addressing or like a comfort there that even if I don't end up saying the thing out loud, that it's still like, it's still like there's like an awareness uh, like not of me I don't well I don't know (laughs) like maybe making like not my awareness but it's like when it cut like if I think of something and even if I don't end up saying if I bring it to the forefront it's like like it's still like there might be some comfort on it like someone's cut like almost like someone's comforting me or like it's a dread but it's like it's not time to talk I don't know but there's a window of like God there where so it's so it doesn't have to be me so and that if that's the case then like the 
so there, there's a couple things that I kind of offshoots of thought that I already kind of know that I wanted to talk about in relation to this. So especially in these branch series such as this is, like these branch series of the Fists of the Eternal Ramadan series, there's one of these branch series called uh, Creating a Character. And maybe, maybe even in the first video, I don't know if it was a latter video. There's only like maybe three videos so far in that series. Maybe two. I don't know. Maybe three. But like there's my own self work that I want to do. And then in that series, like it was kind of intercepted because there's a Christian from Salvation Army that talked to me. And whereas I normally get annoyed with Christians, um, when they're doing like their preaching thing, there was a Christian that talked to me on like when I was at Salvation Army one day and it was just because of like, I don't know if there had been something on my mind that day or something before he talked to me, but like when he planted the seed of like what he was trying to say, it was good timing. So like I flowed with it. And so that, so it's like, yeah, there's a self work that I want to do in these brand series or Maybe you can apply it to the YouTube channel in general. Maybe you can apply it to my life in general. I don't know. But at least it can be applied. It, like, I notice that, like, there's self-work with these branch series of the Fist of the Eternal Ramadan. You know, a, per a personification of Disney was a series. Um, creating a character is a series. Utter Openness is a series. A System of Betterment is a series. These are all branch series of the Fist of the Eternal Ramadan. And that series in itself that series and the branch series, like, these are me trying to, like, develop, like, find um, lasting parts of, like, who I want to be or, like, develop my character, like, self-work. But in creating a character, that branch series, it's like it was intercepted by, like, like, God intercepted it. And, like, in this one, here I am, like, I don't know how many videos into this series, and then it comes to a point where it's like, wait, all the stuff I've been doing before, like, maybe that was irrelevant, not necessarily, but at least it seemed at a certain point like it might be. And, like, here's this, here I see how God can come into it, this window. And, like, even, even figuring out this window thing kind of connects to that whole, uh, kind of connects to that dark road concept that I had that is that there's a series on this last Ramadan um and that's kind of been a that was a concept to this and even that even that series is God intercepting hugely so because not I mean and actually that dark roads is connected to the fist of the eternal Ramadan it's just that it wasn't expanded upon because there's already a series for Dark Roads from this Ramadan. Like, I think I put Dark Roads in one of the Fists of the Eternal Ramadan, like, videos. In that in that main series. That all these other series of a personification of Disney, creating character. Like, that these other series branch from. In that main, the main series that they branch from. I think Dark Roads was in there. So that's, so this is actually, like, three times that there's, like, an intercepting of me doing self-work. And then, like, God intercepts, in a, at least that's a, how I could kind of look at it. Maybe that's not exactly perfect word, way to look at it, but... But even, even me realizing this is a, dar is a dark road thing, as far as, like, finding out that certain knowledge that just saves you time. Like, how long... Have I been trying to like, like just beat my agenda or just force my agenda with this like wall, so to speak? And here there's this window of like where God can be and like, and if things just flow when it's right and there isn't a like wall situation, that means I could, if I, I mean, it's still like scary, but like it's, it can still be scary to like bring certain things to the forefront of your mind that you could potentially say. Um, so there's still some like fear in that, but like, that means I could bring whatever to the forefront and just flow with the wall. And then it'll either just come out. And if it comes out, well, I mean, shoot, there is a wall. If it got through the wall, <laughs> like, so even that, even, 
even that hat like figuring out learning this window thing like that's a dark road moment in a sense there of like learning something that is like knowledge that either saves you a bunch of time or is just precious knowledge or whatever and so does, does that mean that as I continue to do this self-work, if I end up doing more of these brand series, will I discover more? Um, will I have more breakthrough moments like this? And will there also be points where there's kind of like God intercepting it, so to speak? And maybe that's not exactly the reality of it, but there keeps coming. I mean, not that it's happened a lot, but like I said, with the creating a character series, with this series, with in a sense, you could say with the Dark Road series, even though that was its own series before the Fist of the Eternal Ramadan, like, was a series. So since there was already a series, I didn't make a, like, like it existed before the Fist of the Eternal Ramadan, so. Um, and in the Fist of the Eternal Ramadan series, like, there's a video... In that main series, there's a video for each of these, like, concepts, but then if I want to, like, expand upon that concept, then I then it gets its own branch series. So, technically, before these branch series start, they already had a video in the Fist of the Eternal Ramadan series. Um, yeah, is there anything else I want to say? Like, that's just, like, th like, I wonder, like, I don't know. I mean, this is just the first day, but at least it's, I mean, it happened. Like, I, like, this isn't me just being, because in this, in this channel, or maybe even this, maybe even all these, like, kind of self-work series off of the Fist of the Eternal Ramadan series, like, some of this stuff is, like, hypothetical, but this is, like, I actually did this this morning, and, like, these are, this is what happened, or this is, like, the fruits or whatever. What other fruits are there for me to discover? This this Friday will be September 3rd, I think, and that's 10 years. That'll be 10 years of doing this YouTube channel. And at that point, I've kind of decided that I want to make uh, make um, my YouTube channel for myself like a well, after, which is was inspired from watching Snake Eyes came out some weeks ago, and I watched that. And then there's like when I did my movie magic freestyle for that movie, there's just kind of I was reflecting and. Like, how I approached that particular freestyle was kind of touched on by a situation with, with um, some people at the mall earlier. Um, and just his this person's idea of, like, how there shouldn't be judgment in your when you're freestyling. I shouldn't be judging myself. I should just be flowing so, or something like that. It's kind of what I could take from... What this dude said, his name's Monk. <laughs> Mon yeah, I'm just realizing now, like, Monk, like, like a monk. Anyway, he black, though. How many black monks do you see? But, um, he's Franklin's friend. Um, but in doing that freestyle, I just kind of landed on, like, that maybe I need to start, like, I don't know if I said specifically that I should start treating my videos like water as far as, like, getting all these concepts, like, in me. But, I mean, I think that's kind of what it's come to is that, like, off of the ref kind of reflective freestyle that I had in that Snake Eyes movie magic video. And I've already been thinking about this as far as, like, even me. I don't know if, I don't know if before that Snake Eyes freestyle... But potentially, I think, I mean, potentially, maybe before that freestyle even, like, I was already starting to think of, like, going back. Yeah, I think probably even before that freestyle, like, I've thought of going back and, um, like, looking at videos and kind of, like, and then the, 
And then it's also all tied to this birth by sleep concept that's connected to Kingdom Hearts. There's a main, it, there's a lot of, um, there's a good amount of video games in the Kingdom Hearts series. Um, but birth by sleep is where we go 10 years into the past and there's like a new trio of characters that are in a way either connected or end up being connected to the main characters but so kind of off of but then again even with that trio of characters in birth by sleep um there's actually there's the villain xehanort who is connected to the dark roads thing <laughs> that i was talking about but um even though this isn't per se in the birth by sleep video game i don't think at least not mainly there's like this xehanort you see him somewhere i don't know what i don't know if it's connected to the birth by sleep game or if it's elsewhere but you see xehanort like like sleeping and like he's like and in this process of sleeping he's like getting his memories back or something or remember i don't know like something there's some process happening while he's sleeping so even though that whole xehanort thing of him sleeping and getting memories or something. I don't even know if that is connect if if that's like like a little scene or collection of scenes connected to the actual birth by sleep game or if it's connected to another game in the series. But that's where I kind of get this concept that I've had maybe for a while of birth by sleep and like laying down or going to bed and like kind of like going into your memories or something and like growing from them or not growing from well I mean I guess growing from them but like just going into your memories and kind of like this process like it comes from that whole Xehanort thing clips or whatever that I saw um so when it comes to this Friday and it's been 10 years since I started this series I may start like going back and um start using my videos and kind of like for as it being like a well for me to get water from and keep adding to like i'll probably still keep making i mostly i like i'll probably continue making videos for this channel it'll be a well of water that i can get from and that water keeps being added to because i'll probably keep making videos and probably keep continuing tiktok as well but um and then after watching candy man i watched three movies at the theater today uh, Candyman, um, what was the other one? Candyman, and then 12 Mighty Orphans, and I had, like, the movie magic freestyles for 12 Mighty Orphans was dope, Candyman was dope, at least I think, Meh. and then also, um, so Candyman, 12 Mighty Orphans, and then, um, Death Rider and the House of Vampires, which apparently I was told was like a horrible movie, but I got, in, I got, I ended up, it was rough in the beginning, but I ended up getting stuff out. Of, like there's, I found stuff to free. I, I did a freestyle about it. Um, but I think Candyman is what kind of gave me the idea of like going into history. Going, so, so now it might not just be me going back into, into my YouTube channel, assuming I actually do all of this. This is, the plan or whatever, but, or the idea, but, I mean, maybe things will change, but this is kind of the plan, but, like, so, Candyman, I think, kind of has me in a mind of, like, and maybe it's even off of the freestyle that I did off of Candyman, between either Candyman or the freestyle that I did for it, or both, there's this idea, there's, like, maybe I should also be going into history, like, and look, and, like, looking at different points in history, so, where I'm right now, it may be the case that I start going back into my channel of like 2,000 plus videos that like no one watches. Some people watch, but I mean, the views are incredibly low. Like one, two, or three, generally, views. Um, but like going back into there and doing that birth by sleep process, maybe I'll even actually like nap or something in relation to it but so personal history or personal conjectures or inspiration or whatever but then I may also go into history and try to learn from history and that's 
again off of Candyman today. So we'll see. We'll see how meh, life. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but yeah.